right, so it's uh, just after 5 a.m. We are on the road doing some home deliveries. I like doing them in the morning. I can't, uh, I don't like checking on the animals until it gets light out. I mean, we could take care of the brooder house because the heat lamps are in there. You got some nice light and stuff like that, and I can kind of see everything real well. But, you know, I don't like getting out there and, and, and uh, checking on animals out in the field until it's light out. You can really see all the fencing and see if there's any problems. Um, so home deliveries work out great early in the morning um, for us, for a schedule standpoint. And, uh, and I think it worked out well for the customer too. I mean, it's nice and cool out. Uh, you know, it's the coolest part of the day. Uh, usually and um, so they put out a cooler the night before and uh, so, so whatever we're delivering is going to stay nice and cold in there it's only going to be in there for an hour or two usually because um, they can go ahead and pull it in you know if we deliver on a weekday they go ahead and pull it in before work and throw it in the fridge or freezer and um, you know if it's on the weekend they sleep in a little bit or whatever they can they can pull it in when they when they get up so um, early morning deliveries work well for seem to work well for everybody so we're gonna make a few this morning and uh go back to the farm and get started on some short home, de home deliveries are done uh, did them this morning it's about seven o'clock nice and light out just open the egg layers i to move the turkeys to some fresh pasture Fresh pasture, let them out every morning. Crazy turkeys. Pretty friendly, too. Very curious. Probably to a fault. Should be all of them. Just move this thing up about one space every day. Enough to get some good pasture behind them. We incorporate the last day's um, spot in there. Try to a little bit. They drop some feed or whatever the case, just to uh, let them clean up a little bit. But these two are fighting. Good morning. As you can see, they prefer to be outside, at least for now, until it starts raining today. Alright, a little after 7, about 7 o'clock, the sun comes up this time of year, or at least today with the cloud cover. Let the chickens out, the egg layers, a few minutes ago, they're out doing their thing, they'll be in this pasture for another day or two. We've got it eaten down pretty well, this is the last pass on this spot before uh, winter, so it kind of seems a little early to be getting into winter, but this weather we had this year, this rain, <clears throat> actually hurt the the pasture a bit more we're seeing some um, depressed pasture we usually have a little a little better grass this time of year we rotate the cattle faster and all the animals really I mean, it was raining so bad this summer but still uh, still took a little bit of toll on the grass so luckily we're stockpiling some grass down the street and uh, doing the last pass on this property with the cattle and the chickens and then uh, we'll go down the road and uh, hopefully get some month or two of grazing out of that and uh, we'll feed hay for the rest of the winter. Alright, headed down to uh, try to move some pigs. Um, so one of the bigger groups, larger pigs I should say, not numbers wise, but larger pigs that we have on the farm uh, down here in the woods. And we split the pasture into a few sections and uh, we're going to try to fresh grass, fresh trees, um, you never know, with pigs, cattle, pretty much move wherever you want, chickens are easy, but pigs have a mind of their own, so we let them, hung, hungry, hungry pigs tend to follow you better, so we let them run out of food last night, um, we had 
have some with us. So we will uh, see what happens. Hefe is doing his thing. The sidekick Maddie. Well, this isn't going as great as we hoped. Smart pigs? Not as smart pigs. These guys are going to have a much better day. Alright, so after a quick breakfast, we went and picked up the Freightliner freezer truck from the shop. And I think it's at the shop more than it's here. So do with that what you want. And we are in the farm store getting ready for the weekend. So we're packing orders. We've got beef and pork restocked. We've got a bunch of chicken. Um, so we get online orders and uh, pack them. Um, we, when, you, you know, we need to get this packed up before customers roll in um, for the weekend into the store here because it um, you know, changes up the inventory and stuff. And before you know it, we'll run out. So um, we are packing orders. Thanks to everybody that orders online um, for home delivery or picking up here. It's awesome. We appreciate it. So I'm going to finish packing up a few orders here and um, get this farm store cleaned up, get it restocked, and be ready for customers. So I'm in the farm store uh, packing orders and dad rolled by so I'll just show you what he's up to he's spreading um, I guess call it compost almost on the pasture um, so it's coming out of the hoop house um, and that's where we winter over the egg layers so it's been sitting in there composting breaking down for uh, for I don't know nine months eight months something like that eight months I guess maybe a little less and uh, the cattle have gone through this field already and uh, and the chickens so we, it's our last pass for the for winter so he's going to get this on the pasture uh, while the ground can still absorb it and metabolize it and pH is a little off in this field a couple other fields the pH is real good it's off in this field a little bit so he's hopefully this will help with that and um, and uh, we'll get that hoop house cleaned out and get um, a couple feet of fresh wood chips in there to uh, get the birds back in there when they're ready for the winter so hopefully this will uh, come back nice and strong in the spring all right so we got the uh, farm store ready for the for the weekend and we uh, I got up uh, dad was spread manure spreading compost really got the farm store ready for the weekend and uh, I got up in the office for a bit answered some emails did some Facebook posts sent out an email blast for the weekend uh, worked on some other stuff up there so I never thought as a farmer I'd spend so much time in an office but it's all good uh, headed to tractor supply and we are going to uh, grab some uh, supplies uh, for fencing mainly so I'll show you the fencing project we got going on a little bit of we do some rearranging we put in some more uh, millions um, so there's not so much mud in front of the couple of the, uh, buildings, and so we had to rearrange some fencing. So, put up a new line of fence the other day. Dave, Brittany, Will, myself, Logan all helped out. We got, uh, I don't know, it's probably, I need to count, it's probably 300 some feet. So, good amount of fence. Uh, so, we're gonna get, uh, get the woven wire on it today, and hopefully, some of it. Go from there. I gotta do the corner post though and stuff before that. So we need to get some get some stuff for that. Alright. Alright, alright, we're fencing. So uh afternoon sometime. Farm store's open, dad's up there. Um, so I am out here. We've got spin you around. I don't know, 100, 160 feet of fencing done so far. Yeah have a fence stretcher here hooked up to our uh, little John Deere and uh, this tractor is actually ideal for this we don't use the big tractor for this uh, for a few reasons uh, this, this little one fits in between these posts real nice so you can stretch that fence around and get it nice and tight and it doesn't take much to, uh, to pull to, to tighten this fence up um, so the little tractor does great uh, this is nice and tight um, this thing, this thing's a workhorse. This is a 1988, so it's as old as I am. Dad got it new back then, and it 
just won't quit. It's awesome. So it's our little little farm tractor. So we'll hopefully have this thing forever. So, um, so yeah, we got customers coming out today. We appreciate it. It's been a great day in the farm store, and um, and so I'm gonna keep going on this fence here. And I've got. I don't know, another 170 feet or so. So, a little less than half, halfway uh, finished up here on this, on this line. So we'll put this, keep stretching this fence, get this fence lined up today, uh, get a couple gates on, and that will, uh, that will finish up here and we'll move on to uh, building a new corral. That'll be another day though, we're not gonna knock that out today. We're getting, we're getting pretty tired, so. Uh, We'll, I'll do this and, uh, until I either finish up or it gets dark and I'll show you closing up how we close up the farm and um, I think I might get in the office for a little bit after dark and we'll see what needs to be done. We'll see what kind of emails come in from customers. We've got some home deliveries to do again tomorrow morning. We've got some new orders so that's awesome. So, um, so yeah, hang with us. Getting through the day here at Grandview. <laughs> Go to bed, turkeys. You can't see me. It's dark out, obviously. No kidding, right? Uh, there's the fence back there. That's the last of it. 400 some feet, a little over 400 feet to the did this afternoon. Dad closed up the store, came out and helped me finish up. Wouldn't have been able to do it without him. And now we have a rogue chicken, which you can't see. And I'm putting inside the toboggan here closing up the toboggan which is where we keep all of our egg layers their shelter um, I'll show you a picture of it in the daytime sometime but it's got three doors on it these birds with the exception of the one I just got that was hanging out over by us putting in fence uh, they put themselves to bed so that helps um, and we just they got bamboo bamboo roost rails in there and they just uh, go in there and roost and it's uh completely enclosed the bottom has chicken wire and we close up these doors and we haven't had any predators get in there so hopefully it stays that way um it is i don't know it's probably like a little after seven i haven't checked the time yet but this is a little later than normal we usually uh close them up Usually they're all inside right at dusk, so we have a little bit of light. We like to sit out here and try to kind of get eyes on everything. It's always nice to have uh, reassured that uh, we uh, kind of have everything in. It's kind of easier to see, obviously, during the daytime. So at any rate, we uh, keep flipping this camera over. I don't know which way it's supposed to be. There's the uh, sunset. Dad and I are... Uh, going to get this equipment in we uh, are going to roll up some plastic on the pig palace and secure it this wind um, is tearing a little bit so we're going to have to definitely fix that in the next week or so but we're going to roll it up tonight to keep it from tearing anymore and we're going to do a little something something to the turkey hut um, we saw a spot where a predator could potentially get in and obviously we don't want that so we're going to put a couple screws on board on that and then uh I think we'll finally call it a night, so thanks for spending the day with us. Um, this is kind of a pretty typical day here on the farm. I mean, we're not fencing every day, but there's always a project or something to do, so this is pretty typical of what you saw, you know, home deliveries in the morning, and and uh, we had the farm store today, which was awesome. We appreciate everybody coming out, and uh, this is it, so Dad's putting the uh, finishing touches on the fence there. We have the gator out here which is his, uh, his new toy. The little John Deere that I showed you earlier and the big tractors out here too. So we're a person short, so we're gonna have to do some shuffling around and get this equipment back to the barn for the night. So thanks for spending the day with us. Have a great one.